find something useful in my father's house? We've already cut everything that seemed important. We left everything behind that we thought was useless. And that was our mistake. We did find Franz Hopper's notes thanks to your little Mr. Pa. <laughs> it's just as I thought. You're really desperate. No, it's just that I don't want to leave anything to chance when it comes to fighting Xana. Well, where do we start? Try the living room. I'll look in the study. Have you found anything yet? Yeah. My former life. What is it? Nothing. Just a picture of, of me and my father. You and your father? That's so cool that you found it. Can I see it? You look so happy. I was. It must have been one of the last pictures taken with Daddy just before... I mean, you know, before... What's that there behind your father? Uh, Bingo! Those formulas! I can read some of them! It's a rough draft of a programming code. We have to blow up this photo! Hang on! It's a one in a billion chance those formulas have something to do with the supercomputer. Great! I love challenging the law of probability! Besides, you said yourself that I was desperate, right? So what have we got to lose? I was right! It is a program! Uh, Odd, you only took two rounds of seconds. Are you sick? No, oh, I'm okay. Is this about a nice vacay by any chance? Hmm, incredible. I can't get her to notice me whatever I do. Or you could try growing a few inches. You wanna try wearing today's lunch? Oh, here comes Aylita. So, is Jeremy still at the Hermitage? He's in his room. He's not hungry. Guess that means you struck pay dirt while you were there. I have no idea. He thinks there may be something useful in an old picture we found. A picture? Now, why didn't I think of that before? Mm -hmm. Right. I just have to send Anais my best photo, the one with my killer smile, and she'll be eating out of my hand. If you ask me, you'd be better off sending a picture of Kiwi. She loves little dogs. How do you know that? Mm. <laughs> Hmm. Einstein, I need your computer. Yeah, what for? To send an important message. I just need to log into my email. Hmm. Okay, I finished anyway. I'm gonna go eat. Let me know when you're done here. And don't touch anything else. No problem, you know me. I do, that's the problem. <laughs> if you don't fall head over heels for me this time, Anais, then my name is not Adelarobia. From odd? I wonder what that dork wants. Well, let's have a look. Let's see now, a picture of Mrs. Einstein? Now that's a pretty dumb thing to send. Hmm. That guy, I'm sure I've seen him before. Now that's what I call a job well done. Tonight I'll be out with the prettiest girl at Caddick by the name of... Of Sissy Delmas? What did I just do? How could I have done that? Oh, and I even sent the wrong photograph! Oh, I can't believe I'm such a computer label and Einstein is gonna kill me for this! I cannot believe this! I had no idea that Franz Hopper had family connections with Alita Stones. And who is this, uh, Franz Hopper guy? A former teacher here at Caddick who disappeared one day without a trace. Suzanne Hertz took his place. You were much too young at the time to have known anything about it. Not really. Otherwise, I wouldn't have brought you the picture. Hmm. 
And where did this photo come from? It was in an email that I just got today from Aunt Delarobia. Delarobia? Isn't he Aelita's cousin? So then he's related to Franz Opera too. Very interesting. I think I had better call the two of them in here for an explanation. Very good idea. Make them tell the truth and give you a clear explanation. And if they don't, make sure they get a really hard punishment. Hmm, shouldn't you be in class now, Elizabeth? <laughs> I didn't find anything useful in the photo, just a setup program to reboot the supercomputer. Nothing to write home about, although it could come in handy one day. So then I guess the picture's not so top secret after all? No, but we better keep it a secret. I wouldn't want a picture of Aelita with her father fall into the wrong hand. Uh, you mean like Sissy's hands? Oh no, ah, uh, you couldn't have! Yes, I could. Hey, Stones and Dillarobia. The principal wants to see you in his office on the double. And, uh, while we're at it, Belpois, Sturd, and Ishiyama, you go with them. I'm sure Mr. Delmas has a bunch of questions for you, too. But, uh, we've got a class right now. You heard me, get going! Oh, I can't believe this. <laughs> you heard the principal, young lady. No more fun and games. I've had a whole lot tougher nuts to crack than you. So, last name, first name, occupation. Well, um, Stones, Alida, um, uh, girl? Huh, you think I'm an idiot, don't you, huh? Calm down, Jim. There's no need for the third degree. I have just a few questions to ask, that's all. Sorry, sir. <clears throat> what intrigues me about this photograph is the presence of both Franz Hopper and Alita Stones, and they seem to be very close, too. And so the obvious question is whether your name is really Alita Stones. Yes, sir. Alita Stones is my real name. I'm the daughter of, uh... France up uh, and Anthea Stones. Mm -hmm. And are you really Canadian? Yes, I am. And are you really an orphan? I am. And is Aunt Della Robia really your cousin? Yes, sir. Hmm. Hmm. With your permission, Mr. Delmas, on the photo, Alita looks about 12 or 13. Yes, and what of it? Well, you said that Franz Hopper taught here at Caddock about nine years ago. So if that's really Aelita in the picture, she would be 22 years old now and not 13. But as you can see, Aelita is 13 years old and not 22. So that can't be Aelita in the photo. We can thus conclude that Aelita is not related to Franz Hopper, that she is telling the truth about being Canadian, an orphan, and the fact that she really is Odd's cousin. Mm. Very interesting. So then, while I'm checking out this identity business, you're all confined to the library for the rest of the day, uh, under Jim's supervision. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. I see. So then, the Canadian consulate has no record whatsoever of an Aelita Stones in its birth records. Yes, I'll definitely keep you informed. Thank you. Uh, goodbye. Mr. Damas? Uh, Miss Aelita Stones, I'd like to have a word with you alone. Jim, make certain no one leaves this library. <gasps> huh? Aelita, no! Where do you think you're going, Belpois? It's Damas. He's been xanified. Aelita mustn't go with him, Jim. Well, I don't know if I'd go as far as sanctifying him. And by the way, it's not Delmas, it's Mr. Delmas to you. Aren't we going to your office, sir? No, I'd rather stay on the campus. And I'd rather we went to your office. Get back to your seats, no one's going anywhere. But Jim, I lead us in danger. So, you want to play hardball? You want to get through, you're going to have to use what I taught you in my commando cap. If you say so. Attack! Touchdown. Hurry, guys, tie him up. Just think what'll happen if the 
return to the past doesn't work. Jim will kill us. We've got a bigger problem to deal with first. Compared to that, Jim's a piece of cake. <laughs> I'm sending you two in right now. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Jeremy? Are you there, Jeremy? I'm with you, Alita. Hang in there. Ulrich and Yumi are on their way. <gasps> huh? The Skiffazoa? Hello, you slimy, ugly jellyfish. Transfer, Yumi. Scanner, Yumi. Transfer, Ulrich. Scanner, Ulrich. Virtualization. <sighs> Ugh, I forgot how ugly it was. I thought you liked seafood. Not the nasty type. Ready to go? some visitors, but they're not going to stop us. I don't like jellyfish or shellfish. <laughs> well, all of a sudden, our principal's a ninja. Jackie Chan, let's see how good you are at baseball. <laughs> Whoops, uh, why don't we talk this over, okay? I guess that's a no. is implanting data in Aelita's brain. Yumi, Ulrich. Yes, Jeremy. What's going on? The skip has always caught Aelita. She's not too far from you. Why can't you get to her? Well, we're taking a nap, Einstein. What do you think? We're up to our ears in shellfish. Take that, you clammy monsters. <laughs> Super spread. Crabs might just become my favorite dish. <sighs> well, you know, you really ought to be on dance fever, Mr. Delmas. Well, I hate to fight and run, but... It's 
tough cookie. He's got to be out there. Aelita! Aelita, are you okay? I'm fine! She's heading for the digital sea to throw herself in. Make her stop. Oh, yeah, how do you expect us to do that? You can do virtualizer. Why don't you run her in? What do you think I've been trying to do? But I can't. The Skiffazoa must have implanted some sort of inhibitor in her brain. You have to attack her. You've got to be kidding. You heard me. I'm telling you to devirtualize Aelita. Okay, I'm on it. Super sprint! Uh, uh -huh. Jeremy, things are getting complicated over here. How's Odd doing with Thelmus? We could use a little backup. And whatever you do, don't divertualize Aelita! Don't worry, I wasn't even close. What's up? Oh, it's getting walled by Delmas. We have to get Aelita to deactivate the tower. Yeah, why don't you just ask her? I'm sure she'd be happy to accommodate. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. Either we lose Aelita or we lose on. <laughs> this guy's out of his mind! <sighs> Not getting any better either! <laughs> <laughs> we need to free Aelita from the Skiffazoa's control. You sure you know what you're doing? Well, we don't have much of a choice, do we? <laughs> Here we go. I think Aelita's almost out of life points. She'll regenerate herself as soon as she's in the tower. Anyway, it didn't put the tarantula in a better mood. <sighs> what happened? Aelita, you can rest later. There's a tower to deactivate. Odd is in danger. I'm sending you the overbike. Roger.
Princess, this is no time to go to sleep. on Saturday instead of... What about if I do your dishes for you and all the cleaning up? Oh, you disappoint me, you know, Mr. Thomas. I thought you were stronger than that. Return to the past now. No, Delmas couldn't possibly know me. My father may have been a teacher here, but I studied at home, so I never attended Caddick. So no chance of finding any trace of Eileen Hopper. No, none. Especially since my real name isn't Hopper. Huh? Mm -hmm. Schaefer is my real name. When we moved to the Hermitage, my father wanted to make a brand new start. France was his middle name. Hopper is my mother's maiden name. Eileen Schaefer? That is really incredible. You knew that, Einstein? Yeah, but it makes no difference. As far as everyone's concerned, Eileen's name is now and forever Eileen Stone. Time for class, Lyoko Warriors. Ha, ha, ha. 